we're going to be discussing for what we just touched upon for parallel and perpendicular lines. So we're going to make a sort of diagram, sort of a different type of organization. So we're going to have lines in the middle, and like we, what we were talking about before, we have parallel and we have perpendicular lines, right? Perpendicular. Beautiful. So then for what we were talking about before, can you guys apply that knowledge for what a perpendicular line is, what the different aspects of a perpendicular line is? Yeah, right. Do the lines cross? Uh, they, I don't know, do they, right? I think they do. They do. Yeah. So they always cross, perfect. They always cross. Or another way to say it is that the lines intersect. And what is, what in like a way of angles, what type of angle does a perpendicular line make? A, a 90 degree angle. 90 degree angle. Perfect. And just for visualization for you guys, um, if we're working with actual angles, um, it'll look something like this. And this square indicates that it is a right angle, just for future reference for you guys. So then we're also going to work with parallel lines. What different aspects deal with parallel lines? So they never cross. Never. Absolutely never. Absolutely correct. Never cross. Or never intersect. And in regards to angles, what kind of angle do parallel lines make? Oh. A 180 degree? 180. So 180 can be a little tricky to wrap your mind around. Can you show me with your hands like what a 180? Yeah, everyone. Beautiful. I'd say because 90 degree, we have a perpendicular and for parallel, 180. So then for the picture wise, it can look very different for where it could be it could be horizontal, it could be vertical, it could even be diagonal too. There's many different ways that parallel lines can work as long as they have that 180 degree. So one other way that we can discuss about these uh, are making pictures so that we can do this for car A and car B. So we have car A and we have car B. And, and if they're going to intersect right here, I see that, that box is kind of giving an indication for what kind of intersection that is. What kind of intersection do you guys think that is? Perpendicular. And why is that? 90 degrees. It's Perpendicular. Across. Beautiful. And then one other way that we are going to show it in a picture is we have car A again, and then we have car B again. And we're going to have these arrows, which indicates for what kind of intersection or intersection that isn't happening. So what, what kind of, uh, what type of lines do you guys think these are? Parallel. Parallel, beautiful, because it has that 180 degrees. So then the last thing that we're gonna do is can we, can we get up out of our seats and can we show uh, with our pens and pencils what uh, parallel and perpendicular lines look like. Alrighty, so on the count of three, we're gonna do parallel. Three, two, one. Beautiful. And then we're going to do perpendicular. Three, two, one. Beautiful. You're going to have that 90 degree angle. And then, so a little bit of a tricky question is, what if, it, if the lines were intersecting but it wasn't at a 90 degree angle? Would it be perpendicular or parallel? No. 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 What, is, what would it be then? Just an intersecting line. Just an intersecting line. Beautiful. Perfect. 